Hey guys, Dang Bubba, and today we're back with the new Scuff Instinct Pro Controller along with the Pro Player Pack. All right guys, now that we have this thing and have had a chance to use it, let's go over the features, what's new, and I'll give you my thoughts on what we got here. Let's get into it. Here we have this lovely box. Pull tab to open. They packaged up the controller very nicely with a little extra added cushion where necessary. Now I went with the steel gray controller with black accents where I could. A standard left stick with an extended right stick. Moving to the back, we see the high performance grip and the new paddle layout. Now underneath where the controller sits, you'll find your standard Instinct accessory pack, as well as your user manual and safety guide. Inside the accessory pack, we receive two AA batteries, a short and extended dome thumbstick, as well as a six foot braided USB-C cable. The Instinct Player Pack came packaged inside the Scuff Universal case. Inside we received four additional thumbsticks, a short and extended concave stick alongside a short and extended dome thumbstick. We also received a 10 foot braided USB-C cable along with gamer grip. Keep your hands to yourself. So this is by far my favorite color scheme on a controller yet. One with the gray and the black accents and there was plenty of options when it came to customizing everything on this controller. Now Scuff currently has 27 face plates for this controller. The face plates are magnetic as well as the D-pad. I went with the standard D-pad. They do have a disc option. The sticks pull off per what we're used to. Oh, done that a few times. Also dropped the controller twice and we're still in business. Now the Instinct weighs in at 280 grams, which is very close actually to a standard Xbox Series X controller. You can remove the rumbles out of this guy and that'll give you a 50 gram weight reduction. However, I did opt to keep mine in. And it also mimics the shape of a standard Xbox Series X controller. However, you are gonna notice they got that new thumbstick design that they implemented, which does offer a lot of grip and just generally fits your fingers much better. We have a microphone button on the front to mute any inline mics that you may have. And we also have an LED indicator underneath that, which indicates which profile you're on and that's controlled by the profile button on the back. Moving to the back, you're gonna notice that magnetic battery cover. We have the new four paddle layout that Scuff's implemented, as well as these switches. And these are not trigger stops. These switches are with switcher trigger pulls from a long trigger pull to a mouse-like instant trigger. Key features on the Instinct Pro that we will not get on the standard for the extra $30 you're gonna spend. The high performance grip and the feature of the hour. The new instant triggers that have a mouse click action and can be switched on and off. Flip these switches on the back and that takes you back to a normal trigger pull. So while many people play a lot of first person and sh third person shooters, these triggers let you go back to any racing games or things like that that require trigger pull. When you're ready to go back, you flip the switches and you're back on the instant click mouse-like triggers. Now these are comparable to digital tap triggers. However, on digital tap triggers, as far as I know, you can't turn them off. So this is actually a really cool feature and I think this is gonna benefit a lot of people here. So this paddle system is now built right into the controller. And as far as we know, that means no swapping paddles. If you've used a four paddle controller before, depending on how you hold the controller, the Instinct may feel a bit different. The bottom two paddles are very easy to access. However, the top two do have kind of an angle to them. So this is going to vary person to person and this is where you're gonna feel that difference. If you're a person that lets four fingers rest on all your paddles, you're going to find that your bottom two fingers settle in nice and your top two may wind up on that angle to that button. This does work, but it does take some getting used to. What I find actually was the most comfortable and was kind of a new grip for me is if you adopt kind of a two finger grip on the back paddles for the four and you just roll your knuckle into that top paddle. That was what I find to be the easiest way to hit that top paddle. However, again, most people that I know who play controller don't really hold their controllers like that. So all remapping on here is done the same way regardless of if you're on console or PC. I'm gonna go ahead and turn your controller on. This is gonna blink while we do this because we're not connected to anything. Scuff gives you three preset profiles. We're gonna map right over those. And this indicator, this LED indicator down here tells you which profile you're on. You have this profile button. And as you push that button, you're gonna cycle through your profiles. And they're blue, red, and green. So for the sake of this video, we're gonna do blue because that's my favorite color. And to remap, you're gonna go ahead and press the profile button and you're gonna hold it and you're gonna wait until that light starts blinking. 
when you release it. Now when that light blinks, that means you're ready to go ahead and remap. So you're gonna decide which paddle you're remapping and you're gonna press that paddle with the button you wanna map it to at the same time. You're gonna notice that LED indicator flashes white and when you let go of the buttons you're mapping, it goes back to blinking. While it's blinking, you can continue to map more buttons, but when you're all set to save your profile, you're just gonna go ahead and press that profile button again and the light will go solid, which means you're good to go now. If you don't want all four paddles bind, not everybody uses all four. Paddles can be made inactive, and to do that, you just bind them to the share button. Paddles cannot be mapped to the Xbox button or share button or LT and RT, but again, if you map them to the share button, that will make them inactive and just be a dead button. To reset profiles, if you decide to change your mind, you're just gonna access that small hole on the back left side of your controller using the scuff key or a similar shaped item, and that'll take you back to stock. Scuff gives this controller a six month warranty. Is this long enough? For me personally, no. And while this controller does feel solid, that is something that you're gonna have to factor into your decision. So is this controller worth it? The Instinct Pro starts at $199.99 and the standard $169.99. Now the Pro is and would be the choice for me. The grip and instant click mouse triggers are well worth the $30. And if this is your first Pro controller, chances are you're really gonna like what Scuff did here. But if you are coming from a different Pro Controller, such as the Elite Series 2, understand that there may be a bit of a learning curve, primarily in the paddle layout. And despite not having adjustable trigger stops in the Instinct Pro, I still really enjoyed the triggers and the controller as a whole. The accessory pack is totally preference for me. The case and the 10-foot cable were a huge plus. If you don't see yourself needing any of that or anything else from the accessory pack, then you can most likely pass. As always guys, thanks for watching. I hope everyone is safe and healthy. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and sub. And if there's something we missed or you were hoping to see, leave a comment below. And if you'd like to see a comparison between the Instinct Pro and the Elite Series 2, please go ahead and leave a comment below on that as well. Later.